I'm Kat Timp with National Review. During the most recent Democratic debate, Senator Kamala Harris slammed Representative Tulsi Gabbard for having criticized President Obama during his time in the White House. Harris said, I think that it's unfortunate that we have someone on this stage that's attempting to be the Democratic nominee for President of the United States who, during the Obama administration, spent four years full-time on Fox News criticizing President Obama. Gabbard interjected, calling Harris's attack ridiculous, but Harris just kept going. The crowd went wild, but honestly, I sat on my couch shaking my head. See, what Harris saw as a negative, I actually see as something great. It's sad, but it's true. Our country has largely accepted the idea that refusing to be a shill for either side means that you're not loyal. But the truth is, it really means the opposite. It means you're being loyal to your own principles, and that is far more admirable. Too many people don't look at things objectively. They instead look at them through their partisan lenses and try and figure out how to twist or spin them to fit their own side. This is dangerous for two reasons. For one, the truth is always going to be the truth no matter who does or does not recognize it. And the best way to start finding solutions is to start by acknowledging what reality is. For another, the people who have power over us can become too powerful if they know they will have everyone on their side unabashedly defending any and all of their behaviors, regardless of how egregious they might be. So, although Harris might have thought that she really owned Gabbard, I couldn't feel more strongly that the opposite's true. We need more people who are unafraid to think and speak independently and fewer who are quick to aim to ostracize others for having had independent thoughts.